It was only about 45 minutes after the sun came up on Friday morning when crews started tearing down the more than 100-year-old Hammerschmidt mansion. Yep, moving on. Gonna turn it into a yard, like we said. Homeowners Chris and Sue Cobb stood by and watched the house go down, which took about an hour. The couple's lawyer, Kevin Lynch, has released a statement saying, quote, This is not something anyone is overjoyed or happy about. The reality is no one wanted to see this historical home get to that condition. My client waited several months for any offers on the property and received none. Neighbors in the surrounding historic district have been fighting since last summer to keep the house standing and renovated. The group even petitioned city officials in September to make that home a landmark. But the majority of council turned that down. No, I think we council made a mistake. Councilman John Rossanova was one of two councilmen that voted to protect the house in the fall. He says he was hoping that someone would have bought the house by now. There were some residents who uh, were putting forth uh, ideas, you know, possibilities to, to, to keep the home and preserve it. Naperville Heritage Society officials say they've never had any plans to move the Hammerschmidt Mansion to the grounds of neighbor settlement in the city's downtown. They do say, though, they've taken other steps to preserve the century-old Victorian. The Heritage Society did contract with Charles Vincent George Architects to do architectural documentation of the building's exterior as well as floor plans. Our curatorial staff has done photo documentation on the interior and the exterior as well. Now the only thing left of the home at 432 East Chicago remains on file with neighbor settlement and in the memory of the community. I'm Lindsay Thies for Naperville Community Television, Channel 17.